The Conversations for Caring program is really an initiative to support an incredible network of providers who are every day offering skilled care as well as compassionate attendance of some of the most vulnerable people in the network of care. The circles of connection and impact that are made through this relatively modest program are significant. We're able to work with incredible presenters. They come from institutions such as Mass General Hospital, Tufts University, Boston University, some of whom teach, some of whom are in administrative or clinical settings, and they present on a very wide range of topics. We have developed an online format through which people can access the incredible wisdom and experience of our presenters in a manner that's more comfortable and more convenient for them. The goal ultimately is to translate it into practices that people can use in their daily work in terms of how to engage populations and how to serve people. The Conversations program has received requests to offer the trainings either more frequently or different parts of the state. Because of that, the actual groups of people that these providers serve include older persons and their families, it also includes people living with disabilities of all ages, and these disabilities can include addiction, cognitive disabilities, physical disabilities, behavioral health issues. The populations they serve also includes veterans and their families. And these providers have a wide range of professional disciplines. They include social workers, nurses, addiction counselors, behavioral health therapists. They include EMS staff as well as people working in shelters and supportive housing programs. The numbers of those coming to the trainings has increased significantly. For any training that we offer, probably at least 30% of the people are new to the Conversations program. And so 
the underlying community of providers that we're engaged with and are part of our contacts is really growing. For a training on a mental health condition such as borderline personality disorder, we might have upwards of 400 people requesting attendance. As we build our sponsorships, we hope to be able to increase the number of trainings from 10 to 15 a year so that we can reach even more people and empower the network of care.